I'm Tori, and in this video I'm working on a little side project I'm calling Cognitions and Creativity. Every page in this sketchbook will have some words and drawings, and it's a practice in mental hygiene. This sketchbook is a Stillman and Burns beta series sketchbook, which is a heavyweight paper, so I can really go all out with watercolors or ink or anything that I want without worrying about the pages bleeding through uh, and having to deal with that on the back sides of the pages. Um, so on these first two pages, uh, I've written out the definition of cognition and creativity. Cognition is a noun that means the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. A perception, sensation, notion, or intuition discernment, learning, understanding, comprehension, or insight. Creativity is a noun that means the use of the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. Inventiveness, innovation, originality, individuality, artistry, inspiration, vision, initiative, resourcefulness. The way I like to think about it is that my mind was programmed a certain way as a child. I was programmed with certain foundational cognitions by my surroundings. There are cognition cognitions that support a person and make them powerful in their life, and there are cognitions that leave a person powerless. Basically, a cognition is a deeply rooted belief that influences the way you see the world. An example would be something like your belief about what happens after you die. If you believe that you have one life to live, and when you die you will face a judgment day, you may not be thinking about it consciously every second of the day, but it's a foundational cognition of the way your mind operates. The decisions that you make will be influenced by that cognition. If you believe that there is no life after death, you'll behave differently. If you believe in reincarnation, you'll behave differently. Um, a cognition that might make a person feel powerless can be anything from their beliefs about death to whether or not they see themselves as attractive or ugly. The idea is that even when these perceptions are not actively on a person's mind, they will influence the actions a person is willing to take. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I have recovered from severe depression. I was depressed for approximately 10 years and I've been what I consider healthy for about five to six years. Um, of course, there's a transitional period. During that period of depression, almost all of my cognitions were working against me. Uh, my thoughts were all negative. So one of the practices I used to train my brain out of negative thinking was spending a lot of time with uh, powerful cognitions, these ideas and thoughts that I wanted to replace my negativity with. And so that's what this book is about. While I'm drawing in this sketchbook, I'm staying focused on an idea and I'm using the creative process as a meditation and a form of mental hygiene. Uh, sometimes I'll listen to a lecture or an audiobook while I draw. Sometimes I listen to a mantra or sometimes I'll even put in earplugs and just focus on uh, the silence. So whatever I need to do to keep a steady stream of relaxing and joyful thought currents going through my mind. Drawing like this helps me in a number of ways. Not only is it a time for meditation, but it's a great opportunity to try out new ideas in a more relaxed setting than when I plan out large finished drawings and paintings. I get to go to the edges and the outer limits of my style and try out new things. Um... A lot of times for a larger finished piece, I'll spend a lot of time doing small tests and uh, little sketches, but the artwork that I'll be doing in this sketchbook will most likely have minimal planning and pre-sketching. It's a place for me to just play and really let go of big ideas about what the finished product will look like. Uh, I won't lie, I sometimes can become a bit serious uh, it's just that I become so focused on what I'm doing that I forget to enjoy myself. So this sketchbook is where I remind myself of that. 
the sketchbook is where I come to just relax and remember to have fun and to play and remember that this is what I love to do, that it is a source of happiness for me. For these first two pages, I stuck to the simple black ink, um, but I have some big plans with color for future pages. Um, so please stick around for that. Um, I know that creativity can be really helpful in keeping depression at bay, and it's become such an important part of my life and an important practice, a daily practice for me. I think there are a lot of methods out there uh, that can be used before turning to pharmaceuticals. And I really do want to learn more about depression because it is terrible and it's worth looking at closer. Uh, so I hope you're doing well today. And if not, I hope it gets better soon. Um, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.